Inside a machine shop, a worker walks past a rotating metal bar at full speed, unaware the motion is about to turn the aisle into a whip zone. Never, ever assume passing by rotating equipment is safe. Unstable rotation can expand the danger zone instantly. After an excavator climbs onto a truck, a worker grabs the access ramp and gravity takes over instantly. Do not lift or reposition ramps by hand unless they are mechanically supported or restrained, even after loading is complete. Loading finished doesn't mean safe. Secure the ramp before touching it. At a water control facility, a calm concrete structure suddenly vents stored pressure upward, sending a towering plume skyward in seconds. Never, ever assume enclosed water or process systems are at equilibrium. Stored pressure and flow energy must be positively controlled before access or operation. Water systems can store enormous energy when flow, pressure, or head height is constrained. In enclosed basins and channels, pressure builds silently as valves, gates, or flow paths restrict movement. When a structural barrier, gate, or internal component suddenly shifts or fails, that stored hydraulic energy releases instantly. Water doesn't need flames to become dangerous. When pressure and confinement combine, release is sudden and unforgiving, and distance is the only reliable protection. Inside a stairwell with open gaps between landings, a window cleaning task on a ladder turns unstable in an instant. Do not climb or work from a ladder unless you maintain three points of contact and use full fall protection when open vertical gaps are present. When a climber uses only one hand, the ladder person system loses symmetry. The center of mass shifts laterally, reducing friction at the ladder feet and increasing rotational instability. In a stairwell, the surrounding geometry makes this worse. Open voids between landings remove any secondary support or recovery surface once balance is Disrupted, gravity immediately dominates the system, pulling the ladder load combination toward the lowest available space. Ladders demand full control. In open vertical spaces, one missing hand or one slip is enough for gravity to take over, and once balance is lost, recovery margins disappear almost instantly. Inside a dim, dust-filled bulk storage shed, a worker stands without focusing on traffic as a wheel loader rolls forward into a forward blind zone with no clear line of sight. Never, ever assume being in front of moving mobile equipment makes you visible. Forward blind zones are just as dangerous as rear ones. In large indoor sheds, wheel loaders can't see everything ahead. High buckets, wide frames, and elevated cabs create a forward blind zone, especially close to the machine. Even at low speed, the loader's mass carries momentum, and loose material under the tires reduces traction, so stopping is an instant. With limited visibility, reduced grip, and a moving travel path, obstacles can enter the machine's forward travel path before visibility or reaction time allows correction. If a machine is moving, its blind zones are moving too. Stay out of travel paths, maintain exclusion zones, and never rely on assumptions when heavy equipment is in motion. Inside a busy warehouse aisle, one forklift is parked with its forks exposed. Then a moving forklift clips them, and the parked machine reacts instantly. Never, ever park a forklift outside designated areas or leave forks positioned where they can be struck by moving equipment. Forks act like levers. When a moving forklift hits the exposed forks of a parked one, the impact transfers straight into the mast and frame instead of being absorbed. Because the parked forklift can't roll freely, the transferred force drives sudden motion through the mast and cab structure. Inertia resists this abrupt change, producing rapid, uncontrolled machine movement. In forklift operations, parked doesn't mean safe. Exposed forks turn small impacts into extreme mechanical reactions, and when machines interact suddenly, inertia dominates the outcome. Inside a busy auto shop, a sedan sits calmly on a lift until the balance shifts and the entire car suddenly loses stable contact with its supports. Never, ever work around or beneath a lifted vehicle unless it is properly positioned, evenly loaded, and mechanically secured at all lift contact points. A lift is only stable when the car is centered and evenly supported on the arms. Here, the car's balance shifts so its center of weight is no longer over the lift's safe footprint. 
As work continues, especially with the hood open and parts removed, the weight distribution changes and creates extra twisting force on one side. Once that force outweighs the grip and locking support of the arms, the setup loses balance. Lifts don't forgive imbalance. If a vehicle isn't centered and secured, gravity will ultimately dominate the system. And when it does, loss of stability happens without warning. On a dusty construction roadway, a dump truck continues moving while sparks and flames suddenly appear beneath the chassis, unnoticed as the hazard begins to spread. Stop operating mobile equipment immediately if abnormal heat, sparks, or fire is present. Shut down and isolate the equipment because ignition hazards escalate rapidly. Heavy trucks carry multiple ignition sources beneath the frame, fuel lines, hydraulic hoses, electrical wiring, and hot exhaust components. When metal scrapes the ground, a brake binds or a component fails, friction converts motion directly into heat and sparks. Once ignition begins, continued movement doesn't dissipate the hazard. It amplifies it, spreading heat and flame across a larger area of the vehicle before intervention is possible. Ignition hazards escalate without delay. Stop immediately, inspect early warning signs, and treat sparks as an emergency, not a minor fault. In a narrow alley scaffold setup, a worker below shifts a platform, unaware the entire structure is balanced on that single movement. Never, ever adjust, push, or reposition scaffold components while they are loaded or relied on for stability. Temporary structures fail without warning. In this setup, the platform and pipes were already under compression and tension from their own weight and positioning. When the worker below moved the platform, stored energy transferred through the frame, removing critical support. Gravity then took over, pulling the structure out of alignment faster than it could be corrected. Temporary doesn't mean forgiving. Secure scaffolding before adjustment, control load paths, and never assume a structure will stay standing once its balance is disturbed. Inside a cluttered warehouse bay, a load is pulled clear of an opening, just as a heavy door suddenly drops without warning. Treat overhead doors, gates, and vertical mechanisms as unstable until they are mechanically secured. Do not work under or near them without positive restraint. When the worker pulled the load clear, it removed an accidental block that was holding the door up. With no positive lock engaged, gravitational forces immediately dominate the system, converting stored potential energy into rapid downward motion. Clutter near the opening also limits escape space, making a sudden drop even more dangerous. If it moves vertically, secure it mechanically. Never rely on loads, friction, or temporary holds to control heavy doors. Lock it, block it, or stay clear. Beside a heavy industrial machine, a worker reaches into a cluttered service area. Seconds before a sudden ignition rapidly transforms the area into an active hazard zone. Never, ever work near pressurized lines, fuels, or hot components without first isolating energy sources. Ignition hazards escalate instantly. Industrial equipment combines multiple ignition risks in tight spaces, pressurized fluids, hydraulic oil, electrical systems, and hot surfaces. If a line ruptures, loosens, or is disturbed, atomized fluid can spray into the air, dramatically increasing its flammability. Stored energy doesn't announce itself. De-energize, depressurize, and verify isolation before working, because once ignition starts, control is already lost. On the open deck of a moving vessel, crew members release tension on a working line when the rope suddenly straightens and snaps back without warning. Stay out of the snapback path of any loaded rope. Do not stand where stored tension can release along a recoil path because stored tension releases faster than reaction time. Mooring lines store massive elastic energy under tension as the vessel moves and water resistance builds. That energy is locked into the rope's stretched fibers. When the line is released or shifted, the tension unloads instantly. Slack snaps tight, turning stored energy into high-speed recoil along the snapback zone. On a moving deck, this release isn't gradual. It happens all at once, creating a rigid, high-speed recoil driven entirely by stored elastic energy. A loaded rope is stored energy under tension. Mark snapback zones, stay clear of tension lines, and never assume a rope will relax safely once it's released. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Take care.